an article in the Huffington Post reveals that there's a bunch of fake accounts, a bunch of fake pro Hillary, anti Bernie Sanders accounts on Twitter. Uh, this came out in the Huffington Post by Paul Blumenthal on March 14th. And um, it's pretty fascinating. And it, they actually went into it. Um, and it focuses a lot about Sally Albright um, and how much she's gone after Bernie Sanders and all that. Which is so curious to me how... The mainstream media is all talking about Russia, Russia, Russia. They hacked our accounts. They have all these fake bots. They helped Trump win. And the Clinton and the Democrats do the same thing. This is what is, drives me insane. Investigate Russia, fine. And as one of you said, uh, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. They could also be investigating the DNC. But this whole Russia thing is to, is to push any uh, suspicion away from the DNC and their corruption into this, the Russian, Russia, Putin, Putin. Yeah. Putin's not a great guy. Probably did some corrupt problem. Well, sure. Sure. But we can't investigate anything else. And this is just more evidence. And the neoliberals and the Hillary, the diehard Hillary supporters act just as crazy as the Trump supporters. You know, the Trump supporters just don't want to hear anything, anything Trump. Well, forget it. Shut up, libtard. The Hillary people are the same way. I don't know how you can hear this and, and not be like, man, this is fucked up. I can't back this anymore. This tribalism in this country is one of the reasons we have this moron in the White House. The refusal to accept, oh, wow, these people or this party that I've backed are completely fucked. They're completely corrupt. I've made a mistake. We need something new. Not lesser of two evils is the definition of insanity. Do the same thing over and over, expect different results. Anyone but Bush, anyone but Trump. All hands on deck. Hashtag fake resist. So it's amazing. Um, there's this guy, uh, Trevor, who does not want to give his last name and goes by at liking online on Twitter. Noticed a strange panda behavior when Albright responded to him, right? He got into a thing with race, uh, with, um, with Sally Albright, who claim, by the way, that when Bernie Sanders wanted free college, she called it racist. Isn't that great? She can't argue that free college, he's giving free, how would it be racist? She just plays the, oh, you're only going to give white males free college? Where, where is it? Bernie Sanders never said that. Free college tuition for everybody. And she tried to make it a race issue. That's all they can do. That's all they can do is play the identity politics card because they can't argue his policies. They can't argue progressive policies. Corporate Democrats can't argue progressive policies. They tried to make him into a sexist. They tried to make him now he's a racist because he wants free college for every, right? See how they, see what they do? And they use the same filthy tactics that the Trump bots use and Russia and everybody else. Um, her tweets addressing him were repeatedly or rapidly retweeted by the same series of accounts. This created a barrage of notifications, making it look as though there was an avalanche of opposition to everything he said. This is how they do that. But as Trevor discovered, after an extensive amount of research that he posted online, these were not normal accounts. They appeared to be bots, automated accounts masked as real people being used to amplify a particularly political message. Who is really pulling the strings, however, remains a mystery. Albright told HuffPost that the accounts were voluntarily handed over by the original users to an unnamed client of hers to be automated in an analytics program. <laughs> Do you know how full of shit you sound? I was not cheating on my wife. I went into that uh, brothel uh, purely for data collection and research. Um, I'm doing a, a doctoral thesis on the degree to which um, women of the night uh, interact with each other for a social sociology experiment. <laughs> it's like shit like that. Like, oh no, dude, you, you went in a whorehouse and cheated on your wife. You fucked a bunch of prostitutes. That's what, like, like, you're so guilty. Uh, I was not doing cocaine. This is uh, white uh, talcum powder. I, I have uh, issues sometimes when I shave and uh, the white powder, I put it on after I shave, and sometimes it just it just gets around my nose, and when that happens, I act like a fucking crazy coquette. <laughs> I'm a crazy wing, <laughs> Democrats. They, 
they're just as ridiculous as the fucking Republicans. Right? Um, all of these accounts were pro-Clinton, anti-Trump, and anti-Sanders. Um, it's unbelievable. So, <laughs> what they started to find, too, here is, here's, here's a fake account, right? So, um, they took this photo um, of this fake account. This is how we did the research, right? And it's in, it's in the article. It's in the show notes below. And the original image was from a skater, an Olympic skater, Sarah uh, Hutado's Instagram account. But the image from her Instagram account was used for a fake Twitter account named Iris Winter. That's how they did it. Stuff like that. That's how he was able to follow this is a fake account and found out, oh no, this is a skater and this is from her completely different person, right? Um, and then the, uh, here's another one. Uh, Minnie Casera's supposed picture comes from the Facebook account of Matina Painter, an Alaskan who died on January 11th, 2017. The picture was used by Georgia Miles is actually uh, Deja Ferrero Coinone is a New Jersey woman who was killed in September of 16 by a car involved in a high-speed police chase. Maggie Campbell's picture is one of Deb Solsrud, a Florida woman who died in a plane crash in December 16. They're taking dead people's photos and making them pro-Clinton people. Awesome. Classy. Classy. Clintons are always classy. That's why really wonderful, heartfelt people give to the Clinton Foundation, like the Saudi Arabians, who torture and are committing um, a humanitarian crisis. The Saudi Arabians, along with the United States, are helping 130 children die every day in Yemen. They give money. They give money to the Clinton Foundation, along with Boeing, Raytheon, ExxonMobil, and our friends Goldman Sachs. Um, it's just, and it just goes on and on. It, they just they found fake account after fake account after fake account, uh, which is which is funny to me. Albright admitted to the Huffington Post that she had handed over a number of accounts to that unnamed client that has been uh, connected to previous projects of hers and that were no longer in use. She also said that she changed the pictures for some of them. Oh, thanks, Sally. One of Albright Link's accounts uh, over the Bay Bridge appears to have a picture of an actual person named Kirby Manning, but the Manning photo has been taken from someone else and appropriated for this account. The real person is Brinkley Hutchings, a leadership coach and environmental activist in Alabama just goes on and on. Um, here's what I, Sally Albright said, because it's still unknown who the organization is. Sally Albright knows. And this is what they called her, the Huffington Post called her. And she said, I don't really see it as the same thing as the Russian accounts, but I guess since you're calling me about it, I guess that means that it's something that I didn't think that it was, if that makes sense. Sally Albright said, people seem upset by it in a way I did not anticipate. Yeah, your fake bullshit is just as bad as the Trumpers and the the Russians. Yeah, you don't you didn't think they were going to get as mad. You're just so used to getting away with your bullshit and saying we're better, we're the lesser of two evils. You're so full of shit. Another reason to get rid of the Democratic Party. One more reason. Don't fall for this crap. Show your neoliberal friends, your Clinton friends this article. It's the Huffington Post. I'm sure they read the Huffington Post. Show them this evidence. They can click on all of these accounts and all of these links and they can see for themselves that it's bullshit. Yeah, Trump has bots and he has fake followers and he's a fucking liar. So are these assholes. They're no different. And in some ways, they're worse. So don't fall for the lesser two evils. Don't fall for, well, I if I have to choose between a shit sandwich and a shit sandwich with fries, I'll take the shit sandwich with fries. Either way, you get hepatitis. Thanks for watching.